Hello everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome to the channel and I'm pretty excited for the unboxing video for today. As you can see right in front of me are three boxes and I got them over at the new Jordan store here in Manila. So without further ado, let's open them up. Before we start with the video guys, I would just like to congratulate the Jordan Store Manila that had a soft launch recently. Jordan Store is currently located at BGC Taguig right across the Finance Center. I think it is around the 26th Avenue or 26th Street if I'm not mistaken. You can really see it. It's like a box store that is well lit. It's made out of glass right across Cafe Nono's if you are inside that compound and better check them out. They will be opening December 3 but it's based on appointment you can't walk in unfortunately they want to limit the person because of the pandemic still so you have to make an appointment online i'll be putting the link in the description down below on how you can make an appointment and they will schedule you when you can go to the store so i'll start with this nike box right in front of me i will open this lastly because this is my favorite i've been wanting to get a pair of this and i got them at srp so these three boxes, it will cost SRP around 30000 which is really expensive already. But the resale price of this, the total, is around 100 k I'm really excited. So I'll open this up first. Actually, I really like this sneaker. Then This is the Jordan 1 Mocha, popularly known as the Travis Scott alternative. So if you don't have the Travis Scott, this is a nice colorway to have. If you like that colorway, the brown and a mocha tint. The main difference is, of course, the Travis Scott has a reverse swoosh and it has mocha all over. This one has black panels on the four foot part. The mocha is made out of suede leather and it smells like blue, but it smells great. And the tumbled leather on the forefoot and the side panels are really nice. It's a really good looking sneaker in my opinion. Personally, I like earth tone sneakers. So this one is a win for me. It's a very pretty looking sneaker and I really like a Jordan sneaker with a white toe box. I don't know if you agree with me, but it looks better on jeans compared to the colored ones. I like the Chicago one better compared to the band color because it has a red toe area. So this one, is a win for me and it's a really good looking sneaker so as for the sizing of the mocha it is true to size and this is available in the jordan store one pair per customer all right don't be a crocodile another nice detail on this jordan one is the black air jordan logo here it is heat press and it's kind of shiny looks good together with the black panels of this Jordan 1 Mochas. This is the first sneaker that I bought in the Jordan store. True to size guys, for regular footers, wide footers, half size up. Comes with an extra lace. Forgot to mention about that. So let's put that aside. The next is the off-white box. You guess it. Let's open it up. ta -da! It is a Jordan 4 off-white. In the women's sizes i saw this and i have to cop i'm planning to give this as a gift for christmas and luckily it still has the size that i wanted and if you have watched my other videos i've unboxed a jordan 4 before and it looks pretty similar to that but of course that was a fake <laughs> and this one is a real one the tag of the off-white with no labels and this very nice keychain it's the unfinished look of the off-whites which is really really nice and the smell i really like the smell of fresh glue in a sneaker even though there's no le real leather on some sneaker but the mixture of glue and leather is really uh, a nice smell, a nice sensation to your nose. It's laced up with an off-white laces. So this is the teal, white, and black. It comes with three extra laces. The paper is very nice. It's transparent, very off-white, very off-white. So that is the off-white Jordan 4. It is also available in 
the Jordan store, but I'm not too sure if they still have sizes left because when I went there, there were lots of people that are interested in this pair. So luckily I got a size that I wanted. So this is the Jordan 4 Off-White. And lastly on my unboxing is this box. Now you know it. Gooseneck from MJ. So this is a Union Jordan sneaker. So let's open it up. This sneaker I've been wanting for so long but I don't want to pay resale for this one because it's really worth a lot right now and luckily it fell on my lap and I was able to purchase thank you thank you thank you Jordan store Philippines Manila ah, yes this made my night this made my day this completed this video guys you can see how happy I am with this unboxing so it comes with a jordan tissue no he's actually looking down yeah looking down i think it's looking down on the sneaker <laughs> so there's another tissue there so this is the jordan 4 in the union collaboration in the off noir colorway and man this looks really good in person and i'm not gonna lie when this first leak the photos wasn't that nice it usually is like that when they release a sneaker or leak a sneaker in the photos they look really really bad but when you start seeing the official photos like me it started growing in me and it's really really nice in person i like this yellow wish tone and the outsole or midsole part of the sneaker blue accent there and some black accent and of course the upper is noir or black and it has this very nice blue panel on the ankle part of the sneaker and what's really nice about the sneaker is the reverse flipped tongue of the Jordan because you usually see this inside the Jordan force this Air Jordan so they flip it and you can flip it over and make it look normal but it has this very nice look to it so the tongue is not really showing out that much and there's a union patch around the tongue area and I saw one vlogger online he changed up the laces on this Union Jordan Force he used the laces on the Jordan 1 Union and it looks pretty nice too I hope that I can get laces from that and of course the Nike Air tag on the heel which is dope, gives a very nostalgic feel to the sneaker and it's some transparent wings around the ankle. So yeah, it comes with this orange laces, but I think I'll stick with my black laces because it looks better with it. Yeah, there's nothing more and it's just Jordan looking down on me and saying that I am his apprentice. Joke lang guys. It's a joke. So this is the Jordan for and the Off Noir Union collab. Let me know what you think about the sneaker, guys. Do you agree with me? With too much excitement, I forgot to mention about the materials of the sneaker. Sorry about that. So the upper of the Jordans features this leather or felt material. I'm not too sure. I think it's suede too. Around this panel, the tongue area is also suede. And of course, it has a very nice finish in the inner. As for the heel, it's plastic. Can't believe I got this Jordan Force Union. And of course, the Union LA tag here. If you are not familiar with Union, it's a store in LA. It's very similar to stores like Kit, Concepts, etc. Those stores that carry very hype sneakers so union is one of them and it's a nice collaboration with jordan and union since the jordan wants but this one ah uh, this one is hard strong talaga guys so as for the sizing of this true to size that is if you are a regular footer and half size up if you're a wide footer like i've said guys this one is going for thirty-five thousand in StockX, if i'm not mistaken and the off-white is around 50 to sixty thousand, depending on the size and the mochas is selling currently right now from ten thousand to fifty thousand, depending on the size too so i'm very very blessed and thankful that i was able to get some sneakers over at the jordan store and guys better check out the store if you can make an appointment 
I'm sure you won't regret it. I surely did not because I really enjoyed it. And plus, they have a half court upstairs. You can also schedule the court so you can play three on three or some shooting around that area. There's someone who will assist you. They'll be, I think, they can pick up the ball for you if I'm not mistaken. But I did some shooting and the court was nice and the court was designed by Grotesque. He's a well-known artist and it's pretty dope. And the ambience of the court is very nice. The sunset, so better schedule it during sunset. It's a nice view, nice ambiance. And of course, my apparel, reverse dunk of Jordan. Here you go. Congrats again, Jordan Brand, for opening here in the Philippines. It's the first Southeast Asia store that opened. Of course, luckily, we have it here in Manila. So that's it for me for my unboxing of these three awesome hype sneakers. I hope you liked it. And this has been Mark just once again. Thank you for supporting this channel. I appreciate it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.